Hello, my name is Lianne Kineker. I'm a researcher at the Department of Internal Medicine, Division of Morphology in the University Medical Center in Groningen, the Netherlands. And today I would like to discuss with you our paper published in the Mayo Clinic Proceedings entitled Association of Low Urinary Sodium Excretion with Increased Risk of Stroke. So since a reduction in sodium intake lowers blood pressure levels, it has been assumed that it will also reduce subsequent risk of cardiovascular disease. However, the evidence on the association of sodium intake and risk of stroke is inconsistent, with some studies reporting positive associations, positive associations only present in specific subgroups, uh, null associations, or uh, recently a J-shaped association was reported. Uh, the inconsistency of the evidence might lie in the methodological limitations of the studies. For example, almost all studies relied on dietary questionnaires or spot urine samples, uh, which are less reliable methods for the assessment of uh, sodium intake, compared to measurement uh, in multiple 24-hour urine collections. So therefore, in our study, we examined the association of urinary sodium excretion measured in multiple 24-hour urine collections and the risk of stroke. For this, we used data of the Prevention of Renal and Vascular end stage Disease Study, the PREVENT study, which is a large population-based cohort study executed here in Groningen, the Netherlands. Uh, for the present study, we included uh, more than 7,000 men and women who were free of cardiovascular disease at baseline. Uh, in these subjects, urinary sodium excretion was measured in two 24-hour urine collections at baseline and in two 24-hour urine collections during follow-up. Uh, the median sodium excretion was 137 millimoles per 24 hours, which corresponds to approximately an uh, intake of 8 grams of salt per day. Uh, during the whole study, which had a median of 12 and a half years uh, of follow-up, uh, all fatal and non-fatal stroke events were registered. In total, there were uh, 183 stroke events during follow-up. In age and sex-adjusted Cox regression analysis, we observed a significant inverse association between urinary sodium excretion and risk of stroke. This association is presented in figure A with on the x-axis the distribution of sodium excretion and on the y-axis the associated risk. The blue line represents the hazard ratio and the blue area the 95% confidence interval. In this figure you can clearly see that subjects with a low sodium excretion had an increased risk of stroke. As shown in figure B, the association remains significant after further adjustment for dietary and lifestyle factors. This was in such a way that every 51 millimole per 24 hour uh, decrease of sodium intake was associated with a 44% increased stroke risk. Uh, when we further adjusted the analysis for use of antihypertensive anti medication and blood pressure, uh, plasma sodium, renin, aldosterone levels as potential mediators of the association, the association still remained present. Also, in sensitivity analysis, when we excluded subjects using antihypertensive medication or when excluding subjects with malignancies, uh, type 2 diabetes, or uh, subjects with chronic kidney disease at baseline, um, to re reduce the chance of reverse causality, the results remained similar. So, what does our results suggest? Uh, our data show that low urinary sodium excretion is associated with an increased risk of stroke. Uh, this finding is in line with the previous published study of O'Donnell and colleagues, uh, which included over 100,000 subjects uh, from 17 countries. So next to this association, they also observed that uh, sodium intake levels of higher than 300 millimoles per day were associated with an increased risk. We did not observe such a J-shaped association. This might be due to the relatively low sodium intake of the PREVENT participants, as only 1% of the subjects had a sodium excretion higher than 300 millimoles per 24 hours. So the possibility remains that there is indeed a J-shaped association between sodium intake and risk of stroke. So to conclude, in this Dutch population-based cohort study, uh, low sodium excretion was associated with an increased risk of stroke. More high quality evidence on the potential harmful effects of lo a low sodium intake uh, is certainly needed to unravel the true relationship. Thank you for watching this video.
We hope you found this presentation from the content of Mayo Clinic Proceedings valuable. Our journal's mission is to promote the best interests of patients by advancing the knowledge and professionalism of the physician community. If you are interested in more information about us, our home page is www.mayocliniceproceedings.org. There you will find access information for our social media content, such as additional videos on our YouTube channel or journal updates on Facebook. You can also follow us on Twitter. More information about healthcare at Mayo Clinic is available at www.mayoclinic.org. This video content is copyrighted by Mayo Foundation for Medical Education and Research.